Man, I've always wanted to be featured on the forums as one of the first in the game. The first to unlock Han Solo. You remember that, man? The first to get a heroic run of the raid done. But I think we have an opportunity to be one of the first. And you know what that is? I don't know. The world's fastest recorded galactic war race. And my friend, today you're going to be a part of that moment. Okay. Are you ready to be part of history right now? I guess. <laughs> All right, my friend. Go you ahead. to do it? All right. Do it. Do the Woo! honors, my friend. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for man. <laughs> 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 fun in this video today we're doing something a little fun in the background of galactic war we're gonna see how far wampa and scion can make it through galactic war because they have kits to be really crazy and probably go through the whole entire thing by themselves let's go ahead and start this race in three two one and go all wampa! Right. ah man all right actually i think wampa might might have the key to it but uh i don't scion's hard to kill man but what we're gonna talk about, we actually have a lot to talk about so if you guys remember a couple months ago a couple things actually one developers actually were kind of at the hop on a variety of youtube channels to kind of talk about the state of the galaxy and what's ahead for the game right. that's kind of when we talked about like what the palpatine rework is going to happen that we've all been asking for and other things such as jedi training ray well the developers a couple of them actually great a big shout out to all three of them they spent time on a saturday i believe saturday to, evening yeah it was late. saturday evening these people have families and lives too so they're staying late to kind of talk to the community and answer questions on the official forum so it's kind of like what they did on a video for us but for the whole world just get on there and ask questions and although there were some weird questions and a lot of them that were a waste of time there actually were a lot of great questions yeah. out there we made a list that we want to tell you guys in case you didn't see it there's actually a lot of good nitpicky info that we wanted to pull out and give to you guys this will be a kind of a short rundown of that but let's get into it and talk about something that people thought was, was going to happen a lot sooner than expected and that's seven dot mods and the level cap increase. So why don't you go ahead and talk about what their response was and what you think m when it might happen. Okay, well, they were very explicit that it, they're coming, that would, mm -hmm. which is kind of different. And we've seen footage of that. Some uh, screenshots of 7.mods has been out. Uh, you know, Gear 13 level 90 seems like yeah. it. Yeah. And I don't have the exact response here in front of me, but what they said is it's not imminent but it, it's gonna happen I, I kind of interpreted this by like a year-end type thing what do you think yeah it says it's not in the near future if i believe uh, I, I might have to go back and double check i'm too busy watching wampa go to town but the way they phrased it, it seemed it, they made it seem like it's not happening i i'd probably say in the next three to four months that's kind of what right. i uh, what i'd say it could Remember happen EA play when it's not happening next month but it could happen no like two three months from now i i, I yeah. think the seven dot mods for sure i'm right. not too sure about seven dot mods i'm scared about it farming mods all over again sounds like a nightmare to me yeah. uh i hate far mod farming it's like probably the worst thing in the game unless they made a separate energy for it then i won't care but if they have to use cantina energy which i use to farm characters and shard shop currency that's when i start to care a lot about it so, uh, so not yet, but it's probably going to happen later on this year, I think. The Galactic Hero Tag. I thought this was a really interesting question. Yeah. That someone I didn't expect up. this response. Yeah. Um, Why don't you go ahead and talk about what well, the question was the, and what the, the response was. The question was, you know, with, you know the, there's a Galactic Hero Tag, which includes heroes like Commander Luke, Raid, Anakin, Grandmaster yeah. Yoda, which I think we should talk about in a little for a little bit, that, you know, they mm. only got 30% potency in a raid that has some ridiculous stacking. It's kind of not like very good boost frankly and they mm -hmm. they said to the fact that it's going to be relevant later the galactic yeah. hero tag and that sounds very interesting to me and uh something else too you know i was thinking and i made a video about you know top 10 for the month and mm -hmm. the only legendary hero that is currently not good in my opinion mm -hmm. is grandmaster yoda true it used to be palpatine now it's yoda <laughs> yeah grandmaster yoda it doesn't have a place in the game and it seems like um that that it's important to to capital games to have heroes that uh that the raid heroes and then the legendary heroes are good and viable in you know the current arena and always like they go out of their way to make them good like with the reworks of property invader so i mm -hmm. would expect something like that and that kind of went to another question you know someone asked yes. about bounty hunters and jedis and they're like yeah we're gonna do it 
when. Yeah, they didn't say they didn't say when. They didn't kind of give yeah. their, their road map for it. But they said that um, they they have no doubt in their mind that there won't be any more bounty hunters and Jedi in the future. I think bounty hunters might get some bounty hunters. I think before and after the Han Solo movie. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I see that. I I think I think that's gonna happen soon. I mean, March is kind of a dead period right now. The developers are probably just taking some time off after releasing one of their biggest uh, contents in a while, right. and it had a lot of ups and downs to it. So uh, I could see that. Uh, well, happening and I, soon. And I think I think part of that question is, you know, a lot of people said, you know, read this post and they're like, wow, they were super vague. And it kind of went to another yeah. question about, you know, like hardware abilities. And the way they mm -hmm. respond to that was like, well, the reason why we have to be super vague is sometimes things don't work and we have to push it back. And that's why we're reluctant to be specific or give you any information at all is because it's a fluid thing. And yeah. hence they were very vague about a lot of different things in this post uh, because they don't know themselves. I mean, is that the way that you interpreted it? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that point. There's, yeah, that's another one of the things on our list here because uh, people have been asking like so often, like I get into comments at least once a week, I feel like when's hardware abilities coming to the game and Omega's they just kind of set ships. up yeah and yeah that too yeah hardware abilities omegas on the ships and they're like we were so excited when we first created this we thought it was going to happen right away but something came up and it didn't pan oh wampa got defeated by a bunch of rebels ah oh, shoot are you uh, serious you what, what note are you on i'm on battle 12 i actually took out a full gear 11 gear 12 team with wampa then i go to this wedge team and he wampa just got blown out of the water so let's go and put scion in oh i'm really bummed out about that uh but what was i saying oh uh, yeah so Pretty much that was kind of a big lesson to them, not to overhype things they're not sure if they're ready. Yeah, they talked about of, managing um, expectations quite a and bit. Managing in this expectations, book. great way. Yeah, great way of putting it. I think this is where it's coming down to because the, the hardware abilities, they even said, if you're wondering what the answer was, they're pretty sure that it's not happening anytime soon. It looks like they haven't put much thought into it. Looks like they're, who knows? I might even be surprised they scrapped the whole entire idea. Uh, to be uh, to be honest about it. Uh, well, but, I don't know. Maybe someone asked, "When is Grievous getting reworked?" General Grievous, and, and they're they, like, "Yeah, yeah." They so went ahead and someday. said, uh, "I mean, they said someday." Yeah, they, they, I mean, they, when like, Separatists get reworked. Yeah, so it's like they're they're talking about it, and they're it's on the thing, but but everything is always up in the air, and it seems to be done, you know. So I don't know. Right. But let's uh, move on to uh, some more exciting stuff. Uh, mod management. So once we made a we made a video actually outlining a lot of the stuff they're talking about about how we think. 10 ways to improve Galaxy of Heroes and mod management is obviously number one. And if people think that the developers have no idea what we need in the game, they're actually very aware of what we need. And and they, they talked about how mod management is on top of their mind, to kind of put in quotation marks. So they're very uh, aware of it, but I guess it's not an easy fix from the, the way they kind of talked about it on the forums. And they also talked about raid tickets and bronze impacts. Like they yeah. talked about, there's actually yeah. a couple of questions about the bronze impacts. Um, they talked about the reason why there hasn't been a multi-pole bronze impact and the fact that it's on the, like kind of on their top of their to-do list. So is that good news? You think mod management's gonna happen this year, man? Um I I you know I would really like something to happen with mods, even if it's not perfect. Even like mm -hmm. uh remove all or you know, something that doesn't have yeah. to be really complicated. Save a mod set. Yeah, I mean even just like get you remove all mods at once anything to save time um mm -hmm. you know i understand you know that there are some helpful resources out there swgh.gg you know i don't know if they're going to go out of their way to program something like that that already exists but it, it's time consuming oh yeah moving on to the next important thing cadence of legendary mm. and pay to play characters and this kind of goes this is the, hand this is the controversial one that i was referring Woo! to Ah, uh, let's talk about it. what do you what? Let's go ahead and you explain it and lay the foundation. We'll kind of talk about the the very controversial stuff behind. Okay, it. so on the forum there was a very detailed list of when like Omega battles and all this other stuff is happening, and then mysteriously three days before the actual Jedi Training Ray event, BB-8 Jedi Training Ray show up, and then no surprise, you know, people are upset, panic farming. Why did you guys do this? And you know, that, the the app goes immediately to number two in the app store on Apple, yeah. right? Because mm -hmm. of all this purchasing. So here, here's my, and they what did they say? It's like, oh, we want to do better on this. And, you know, even though we can't predict a specific month and when they're going to come out, but we feel like we can do a better job. And um, 
So, in my opinion, you know, okay, so it's like this. This is either poor communication or it's, it's poor communication intentionally, which mm -hmm. uh, has been proven right here by the numbers that it was materially beneficial to them. It and was, oh, yeah, it was bad. It, right here. And I think it was intentional. Uh, we're going to talk about the next big kind of controversial topic post Jedi Ray Sith Raid nerf. Now, there was definitely a very vocal minority about this. And. Although there was a lot of complaint before anything happened, we said our position was everything's going to be fine in the end, and we're sure she's going to be good. We have to just kind of wait and see what happens. Right. And long story short, everything's definitely fine. The way uh, everything's definitely right. fine in the end of Jedi training. Right. Raid. I, I told you, I went to bed last night. It was like 3 a.m. in the morning. I had to do something at the raid. So I just went ahead and put Jedi training Ray on full auto. I wake up the next morning, 3.6 million damage on full auto. She is still the best character for the raid, guys. And would you agree with that sentiment right 100%. there? hundred percent. In fact, I've read two or three guild guides to how to beat the raid. And, you know, the number Jedi one thing that is mentioned is how many Jedi, raid, Jedi training raid teams does your guild have? And you need to take an inventory of that. And that she's still the very most important thing in the raid, period. Mm -hmm. And, yep. and and it kind of comes back to the fact, you know, like they were asked, you know, why is the tenacity so high? Why is the health pool so high? And yeah. they, you know, I the way I see the game is that Barris kind of changed the way that we thought about heroes that hit multiple times. And so mm -hmm. like a hero that hits many times and, uh, you know, the, the game has kind of been defined by negative status effects and like Barris with the, the multiple hits like a hero like Rolo or Ahsoka was just not good yeah it was horrible and where I think on this raid um, there because negative status effects won't work and uh, mechanic like death mark being hit 10 times by Ahsoka or 10 times Shh. by Rolo is mm -hmm. heroes that have not been used or not really exactly. been arena viable and it's intentional and they're they're suggesting that they're teams and mechanics that we haven't discovered that are going to make the raid different than we thought. Right. Do some experimenting. There's some stuff out there like no one really would have thought of Death Mark and Magma Troopers basic being helpful. So right. that, there's a lot of stuff out there. I'm sure we got to find out. I do want to acknowledge though that the raid is unfun for it's a lot fun. of It's not fun. Oh yeah, no. That is yeah. not fun for no. a lot of guilds and um I'm not a big guild person. I know you aren't also. I don't yeah. really like the guild. I don't like the raid myself. I'm just going to put that out there. I mean, it's, I thought yeah. it would, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to say it's What bad. I do pretty much, we're, we just can't not, do heroic. Yeah, yeah we can't do not heroic. That fun and, uh, to me. Like, I feel like it's, it's kind of tedious. Um, and the worst part is, a couple months down the road, because of the fact you and I aren't farming heroic raid right now, we're going to be in a period where Treya is going to be an arena and only a few guilds are going to have her. And I'm not ready for a day when Darth Treya is running rampant oh, with Scient uh, and Nihilus, dude. Yeah. That's Scient, a whole other Scient world. Scient and Nihilus is so strong right now, I can only imagine what Treya is unlocked. I mean, people are farming her right now at the heroic raid, essentially. So I, what, three months before she gets unlocked? Maybe less? And it's uh, going to be a handful. I don't know if our guild is, very, is having a difficult no. time finishing six. We finished, Same here. We finished seven once before, you know, the raid haunt thing went away or the mm -hmm. stormtrooper haunt thing away. So I don't know. It's just, I think it's in game content for high end guilds. And I think, you know, a lot of people that, you know, I was in a guild that had about 100 million. Oh boy, that's just not going to be a fun raid. Arena Shard, quality of life changes. This is something I really like because uh, one thing I hate doing is going to Arena during payup and constantly having to refresh because I know I can go up five ranks and I have to keep refreshing to see it. So it looks like uh, from the conversation that happened on the forum, it looks like they're working on it right now. I'm not sure about as we speak, but right now. And it sounds like they're going to try to get this out hopefully sometime very soon. So this is something more immediate term right. and like a future update. So what they're, they're, they're saying is like if you're at 13, you should be to go right in and, and you know, the number... Eight slot should show yeah, up. Yeah, right it should away. be open right there. You don't yeah. have to refresh. And then you know, you'll always have to refresh the for twenty minutes to get it because Shh. you know we've got a friendly shard mate number nine or something like that. They're, they're saying mm. they're, they're going to fix this. So Are that's another make... little nitbit. Yeah, that's another little tidbit of information we want to make sure we pulled out for you because that's what they kind of got buried, and that's probably one of the the best things in this list is that that's a, n a minor quality of life update that makes life a lot easier. So you're not refreshing for ten minutes. People are wondering, are we done with the last Jedi content? And they said nope. in the forums they are not done. With the last Jedi content, they have Snoke. plenty of stuff planned out for the ongoing trilogy. So Snoke, I actually, still probably work. I want the BB nine. I want the Praetorian guard. Praetorian guard. Pray the, Praetor the Praetorian yeah. card. The Praetorian guard. Praetorian yeah. guards. <laughs> Zeta Mat drop rates. They said on the forums they don't plan on changing it anytime soon. Nope. Uh, they like where it is currently. That's another. That's a quick thing to point out. That we're just gonna kind of bullet point uh, a lot of these things. 
uh, the, the drop rates for characters, they don't alter them when they're needed, yada, yada, yada. So they don't alter the drop rates. If you just happen to get bad drops, it's just RNG is not in your favor that day. We all have those days. Uh, and then here's uh, something they also talked about, another minor quality of life update that apparently it's in beta talk right now. Uh, they're talking about having it where guilds, it's for raid management, but guilds will auto join and auto start raids to make life easier. So raid guild officers don't have to constantly sit there and the second you're able to launch a raid, right. they go ahead and launch it. So well, it looks I like... Because we, because you know, it's it's kind of ridiculous that we have a 48 hour window in the the Rancor and the Hiroke AT raid, and we all have to log mm. in in the first 24 hours just to yeah. get a zero. It's like, why doesn't that happen automatically? I like, I've missed so many raids because I forgot to post my zero. I just, uh, you know, see the notification, then it just just kinda, a waste of time. I'm going over my list here, but we pretty much knocked out everything on our list. So, long story short, what are your reactions to this forum post thing that they did? This Q and A? Are you are you happy they did it? You hope they do it again? I hope they do it again, and uh, they're never going to be very specific on these things. Um, right. I think from the inter we've both interviewed the developers before, and I know I've yeah. taken questions directly off Reddit and uh, and Twitter rather, and said, "Hey, you know, ask a question." They're never going to give very specifics because no. uh, more more times than than not, just because they're talking about something in the back room and developing, they don't. There's never a set timetable and. And they're yep. often vague with an answer because they don't know themselves. Just because they're talking about maybe adding Hux or Snoke to the game, they're very reluctant to say, oh, it should when be done happen. in a month because they don't know that. Nobody knows. Even if it's like 90% done, they never know when stuff is going to be published. It's right. always delayed yeah. and there's always bugs and it takes time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the longer type of video. We did have a lot to talk about, but this is kind of our podcast moment. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the whole thing. Let us know down below what you think of everything that we said. We'd love to talk about and hear your thoughts. But as always, guys, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And as always... Not a scam. Not a scam. Not a scam.